From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You can try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. Texas college student Elizabeth Moreno had back surgery in 2015, and when the bill came in for a follow-up drug test, Moreno saw that she had been charged $17,850 by the lab which I am guessing put her right back into the hospital for shock. Good news and bad news regarding women and equal pay The good news is the World Economic Forum says it will happen. The bad news is, based on their best guess, using business and economic predicting algorithms, it won't happen until 2186. So you're still making progress, feminists. Congratulations. You, you won't be around to see it, but congratulations anyway. Health researchers say they found a troubling link between higher consumption of rice and type 2 diabetes, a disease that in some countries is becoming an epidemic. Further work is needed to probe the apparent association and diets that are notoriously high in sugar and fats should remain on the no-go list, they cautioned. That's right, white rice is now considered a sugar. Try adding that to your coffee in the morning and see how far it gets you. Artificial intelligence researcher David Levy says humans could marry robots within the century. Levy adds, My forecast is that around 2050, the state of Massachusetts will be the first jurisdiction to legalize marriage with robots. Warning! Warning, Will Robinson! Dr. Smith is trying to take me as his bride! Danger! Danger! A survey found that the most useful thing that students learn while at college is how to do laundry. Tens of thousands of dollars to learn something you could discover after spending just a few quarters at the laundromat. A new University of California study says that drinking alcohol is the key to living to your 90s. Of those people studied, those who drank about two glasses of beer or wine each day were 18 percent less likely to experience a premature death. Of course, these are students at a university in California, so they might be tweaking the results a bit just to justify the drunken fraternity parties. Fergie has finally officially apologized for her performance of the national anthem on Sunday at the NBA All-Star Game. You know, at least Fergie has some class here in admitting she made a mistake with this. I'm still waiting to hear I'm sorry from Roseanne 25 years ago. A new study claims that Americans have 60 bad days a year. 80% of those caused by work. Yeah, I'm shocked too. Only 80% caused by work? The dating app Bumble says that downhill skiers are the most active on the app over in the Olympics. Congratulations, Bumble. You just proved that privacy of your users is not important to you one little bit. Way to go. Danish researchers found that the thinner a person's thighs, the greater the risk for heart disease and premature death. So I'm immortal? Even though Republican Kevin Nicholson is running to unseat incumbent Democrat Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin in November, his parents have donated to Baldwin's primary campaign anyway. Nicholas tells CNN, My parents have a different worldview than I do, and it's not surprising that they would support a candidate like Tammy Baldwin who shares their perspective. Nicholson went on to say to his parents, Well, if you like Tammy so much, why don't you adopt her? And then he broke down and sobbed for a while. Tony Braxton has confirmed her engagement to Birdman. But she did have to promise to keep Birdman's identity a secret so he can continue fighting crime as a masked vigilante. Consumers worried about the origins of their clothing, coffee, and chocolate might want to focus more on the origins of their Bible. Chances are pretty good that your favorite Bible was printed in China. Last year, printers in China produced 12.4 million Bibles, making China the world's biggest Bible publisher which is kind of hypocritical, seeing as China is antagonistic towards Christianity. Has anybody checked to see if those Bibles contain lead? Beyoncé's daughter, Blue Ivy, was carrying an $1,800 Louis Vuitton purse at the NBA All-Star Game last Sunday. Six years old, carrying a purse that costs $1,800. Oh yeah, she'll be totally prepared for the real world. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, and you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own from scratch, complete with your own pictures if you wish, your own handwriting, and your own signature. 
Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.